Hey, in this video, I'll show you how you can take a PI interface, take the test data from them, migrate them to the CPI system that you have and see how it runs there. So here I have a CPI scenario that corresponds to a file to file uh, integration scenario that I've created in my PI system. I've migrated my message mapping and now I want to make sure that everything is successful and I can run all the different data that I used to do without any problems. So let's work on this process. So first off is I want to select my PI scenario. I have it here. I will select it and say record messages. I will create a new test suite called demo2 and we'll create the message also called the same just so we know what we are working on and we want three messages from this. We'll say save a uh, record and then we will activate it and then the system will figure out how do we best take test data from this and our, uh, it will use some modules that you can add to it or it will use the st standard modules from SAP uh, and add those to the scenario and then we just want to wait until someone has triggered some messages but obviously if you're fetching this from production that should not be a problem so we can create a test case for this recording uh, that's fine. We have now created a test case uh, based on this and that's all good. We can use it and do all the different things we normally do with it. So we can run it on our PI system and see how it works. We can take it from our uh, production and run it on our development if you want that. So we can then see what are the different test cases we have. So over here we have a list of all the test cases we have. Um, now I want to migrate it and I can migrate multiple test cases at once. But for the simplicity of this, we just want to take one. So I'll select this new button that says migrate to CPI iFlow. We will create a new test suite that's called uh, CPI migration. And we will then select the iFlow we created that's called migrated. And it's this one. And we'll open this test suite after we have done it. It's migration. Um, and then we have actually created a new migration test case for this. The challenge with this scenario is that it is a file to file uh, integration. And normally we can only test with interfaces we can interact with uh, directly, like process, uh, process direct, HTTP, or SOAP. A file based scenario requires us to actually take the scenario and replace it and make some other uh, settings for it. But that really is not something we don't need to, to worry about. We just select the iFlow. We select which system we want to run it on. And since it's a migrated one, there should not be any problems on it here. So we can select run here. And we can pull and see how it goes we can see it has found that it is this uh, scenario that it want to use and we can see it is actually already pulling in messages from this scenario um, if i hadn't run this before it would anyway create the the same iflow uh, updated and make sure that this uh, figure of iFlow we've created always is valid. It just takes a little more time to deploy it before it can run the tests on it. So now let's see how the test performed. And it did uh, give us some, some challenges. As you can see, there are some, some elements in the new uh, scripts that we did not have in the old one. So we can just say ignore all these uh, call activity that we are not really using and we do not have any data on. Um, so it's just going through these and we'll also ignore the end event. Then obviously we are getting some, th some p things with the payloads in and let's uh, look at these diffs. We can look at the diff here, we can see what's actually going wrong with it. And we can see that there is a difference in the date. And we will know, okay, dates are something we can, for this specific case, it's okay that they change every time we run it. Obviously, we want to fix out this uh, long dig digit. I think if you sent this to some customer, they would probably be a little mad about 
getting this data and I think also we need to ignore this part up here uh, and then we can save it. So now we've updated our test case and we can try to see how it works again. And the other thing is we will then need to, to go th through it and update our test case and say, okay, now this is the result we want. Uh, and then that means if we run it again, that it'll know what is going on with the scenario. And once we've pulled the messages and it's compared everything, hopefully we'll get a successful state or obviously we need to research and see what, what the, the remaining differences are in our document. So we still get some errors. We can look at the diffs and we can see the payload is identical. They look okay, except they ignore part, but we are getting some properties that was only in the tested message. Uh, and some tested test data here. We can just ignore these. And we will say good. And I think we may be able to just uh, reprocess it here. So we have a, a recompare here. Sometime it, uh, for some scenario it works. And now we can see it has done, gone through all these different things, seen what we have compared and stuff like that. One of the things we also recently added as a part of this is to make it easier to see what is going on here. So we have something here that allows you to see what were the ignore expressions, what were the uh, applied element that actually worked when we ran this test. And we can go through and see the test uh, configuration that we have here. Uh, we can s switch this on and s then it will only use mock services once we're calling this thing. I hope you saw how powerful this is and what you can do with it. Uh, go to figaf.com uh, forward slash devops and sign up and try out the tool. Thank you.